Well, the first selectman can't take a question. Uh, this one goes to Dan. What are your future plans for the wastewater treatment plant operation? The short answer, get that thing running as quick as possible and hopefully it comes in under budget. The, uh, we know that we have uh, a big challenge and I think that one of the things that everyone talks about when they look at the wastewater treatment plant is they're, they're first astounded by the cost of the project and what we all face in getting this thing in, in operation. Uh, I've talked with Den Butler uh, several times who is administering with his building oversight committee. Uh, the construction, things are moving. They, they expect it to be done uh, next year. And the focus really needs to change to not getting it done, but then administering the increase in expenses associated with operation. You know, when you get into this, I think the, the frequent thing that happens when you, you build a facility or expand it, you make some estimates and then you run into the roadblock of saying, oh my goodness, I didn't recognize that the electrical bill was going to triple. And we need to really sit down and say, what's it going to do to the WPCA? What is it going to do to those families that live day to day on that? That, that that's a big part of their monthly budget. And we have to work with them to, ro to really define and help guide a road to self-sufficiency for the WPCA. They, they have been cast into this, and in large part, not of their doing, because the WPCA project or the sewer plant sat idle for so long that the cost doubled. And this is not of the, the user's fault. It, this is an administration who sat by and did nothing for, for close to four years, and now we all sit there, and thankfully we do have grant money that will offset the price. But you know, now we have to say, okay, the, the, the uh, construction phase is here complete. Now let's get into the administration phase and managing what the costs are. And if we need to lend support to the WCP, uh, WPCA folks to run it, they may need support. Operating a, a sewer plant is not something that most people have the technical knowledge to do. And if they need help and they need support from town hall, we need to do that for them. Thanks. Oh boy, I wish I had more than 45 seconds. I've been working on this for two years. But I think what I'll do is head to where the question was, with, was, was more of the operations. And that's something we're going to have to look at. Tradition, in the last, most recent part, we had Connecticut Water running our wastewater treatment plant. And we need to look at choices. We need to look, do we um, bid out a contract for a water company or some contractor to come in and take over that water company, that wastewater treatment plant? Do we look to hire somebody for our town that's an engineer that actually could come in and uh, be specially certified and licensed and be in-house for us? Or there has been on the table, but at some point we may need to um, look at options outside. Um, we have our options ahead of us. What are your future plans for the wastewater treatment plant operation? Well, I just want to back up a little bit. This is hard to do in, in five or five seconds. But first of all, finger pointing never again. Anyone in again. That wastewater treatment plant bogged down for a lot of reasons, and it wasn't because the administration that was in office at the time uh, didn't try. Uh, I was on the WPCA, I was a selectman with Mr. Baxter when he was the first selectman, and there were a lot of issues, and we don't have the time to discuss them, but it wasn't for lack of trying that that thing didn't go forward. And Bill, you know what night of it, okay? I, uh, I promise resolution and you got it. The Wastewater Pollution Control Authority is a separate authority. They, by statute, they have the right to run that plant. They set their budget, they set their rates, and they are the managers of that operation. 